All right, I'm here. Here's a game I haven't played in years upon years. <laughs> Wonder if it's as good as I remember it being. Pokemon Ranger Guardian Signs. <laughs> the only Pokemon Ranger game I've actually played. <laughs> but yeah, I remember as a kid I loved this game. So I'm hoping it's going to be as good as I remember. Because if not, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. <laughs> right. New game. Yes. Also, I needed... Like, ever since I got this capture card, I knew that I needed to use it for a full-on game. <laughs> so I figured, why not Guardian Signs? The Oblivia region, high in the sky. Oh, I'm feeling the nostalgia already. <laughs> Just give up already! Do you really think you can get away? You just don't know when to give up. Oh, who's that? Hello. Just me on my trusty star raptor. Red goggles, a yellow scarf, and a capture styler. You're a Pokemon Ranger! Your adversaries are using Pokemon to attack. Please capture the Pokemon in order to calm it down. Okay, just a single Pidgey. That should be easy. Draw loops around Pidgey with the stylus. That was easy. I feel like I'm... Uh, I feel like the... Hang on a sec, I need to adjust some stuff. Because I need to lean over my DS a bit more than I currently am. I don't know how this is. Hopefully this might be a bit easier. Yeah, I think I'll be a bit easier. <laughs> Not only was our Pidgey captured, our target got away. It's hard to believe someone could pull off a mid-air capture like that. You're something else. Oblivia is very peaceful. We don't need a ranger like you. This is how we dispose of unnecessary trash. With a plasma cannon. You yeah, just casually got plasma cannons attached to your floating hover platform things. How did that trait ranger manage to dodge my attacks? You are good, but let's see if you can handle our double team attack. Double team's not an attack though, it's a status move. Picking up strong energy reactions. Touch the screen to guide Star Raptor and dodge enemy attacks. Okay, if I remember right, I just need to do this. Oh, okay, they can hit me while just spinning around. Okay, maybe not anymore. Ow! Oh, wrong voice. 
Oh no, my plasma cannon's battery is dead. Mine too. Scaring our target with wildfiring might not have been the best idea. I guess we'll just have to ram them. Wait a second. Let's make this a fair fight. Hello, my male counterpart. <laughs> oh no, there was more than one of them. The plasma cannons aren't working. Rangers keep popping up. I hate to say it, but it looks like we have to retreat. Wait. There is one more... Oh, wait. Hang on, wrong voice. I need to do... Uh... There is m one more on our side now. <clears throat> Forgive me, I don't feel like my voice is quite ready for voice acting. Our leader! They're Pokemon Rangers! I can see that. This is the first time I've seen flying rangers, though. Two aerial ranger brats put in our... <coughs> <coughs> Oh my god, I haven't spoken for like the last few days. My voice is not ready for this. I really should have done some warm-ups before I started the stream. Two aerial ranger brats putting on airs with uh, their bright red goggles and yellow scarves. What a joke. So we're the joke, huh? We aren't the leaders of a team that can't even handle a couple of brats you there. Do you know the consequences for Melvin off like that? I have just the sport for a tough talking brat like you. Skydiving with no parachute. Take that. Ah! What? What happened? Sacrificing themselves to save another. How bold. You should at least thank your partner for saving you. Cause now they're hurtling headfirst into the ocean. What? She saved me and now she's falling into the ocean? Well now, you seem lucky. Maybe we should make you into our lucky charm. Hey, I'm not falling head first, I'm falling feet first. Okay, that wasn't too bad. The capture styler has come off. Urgent. Reattach the capture styler. The capture styler has come off. Urgent. Reattach the capture style. Err. <laughs> Mantike loves that capture styler. Oh shit, um... Uh, okay, I didn't quite prepare for this when preparing the stream, but I guess we're just gonna have to be sideways for a second. Although, I noticed my VTuber is really looking up in the air for some reason. Let me just fix that. Uh, if I can just find how... Right. Calibrate. There we go. Should now bring it back. There we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> Hi Stein, how you doing today? Spoiler, yes, this game is as good as I remember. I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, if I remember right, this the times this the DS has to be sideways is not that long, so yeah. <laughs> Hold on just a minute. Mantike, I need my styler back! There we go. 
Okay, yeah, it doesn't take that long. There you are. The styler is reattached. Danger, danger, massive object approaching. Danger, danger, extremely strong current. The current is zzz, zzz, zzz. Yeah, I'm not gonna outswim a submarine. <laughs> yes, please. Hold on just a quick second. Uh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> You only got two diamonds. Oh, you playing Minecraft now? <laughs> you went on the campfire server. Attention, ZZ Flyer Squad. Our target is Dulce Island. Commence attack now. All right, pinchers, let's go. Dull Island is uninhabited. We can do whatever we want and no, but no one's here to see. Yeah, definitely uninhabited. Most of the time when we say uninhabited, we're referring to by humans. Like animals can live there and it would still be considered uninhabited. All oh, this music, it's so nostalgic. YouTube, split up, capture him. Roger. That person's got a new Pichu. <laughs> Wonder who got that one. <laughs> Two and one. <laughs> oh, hello, Ursaring. <laughs> okay, that's no fret to them. Still, it's amazing that in such a short time we were able to pinch this many Pokémon. It's all thanks to these new control gauntlets they gave us. We couldn't find the Pokémon we were looking for, but that also means that Pokémon isn't here, which is valuable information too. Let's return to the base and have our leader tell us what a good job we've done. ZZ Flyer Squad, retreat! Okay, cat. Caught a bunch of Pichu and a few other miscellaneous Pokemon. Young Pokemon Rangers, I've heard so much about you. I'm Grof Hastings, the Ranger Union's Chief of Technology. Are you familiar with my work? No need to answer that. I called you both because I have an extraordinary mission for you two. An extraordinary mission? I'm sure you have heard of this. There is an awful group of people who control Pokemon and take them from their homes. They are called... Pokemon Pinchers. Up until recently, the members worked independently, but now these Pokemon Pinchers are starting to become a unified outfit. The question is why? In any case, they're probably up to no good. 
I want you two to head for the Oblivia region, investigate their plans, and if necessary, stop them. Uh, I don't know who this is. I forget. <laughs> I'll just do my regular voice until I decide otherwise. <laughs> Whoa, wait! Wait a minute! Oh, Murph, um... What voice do I give Murph? Uh... Yo, Might, if you need an explanation of the Oblivion Reach and leave it to me, Might! <laughs> I'm Murph, and I'm in charge of the PR here at the Union, Might. Murph, I will take care of the explanation. Thank you very much. Please, Professor Might. Don't take away any of my few remaining responsibilities, Might. Well then, Might. Let me give you a brief explanation of the Oblivion region, Might. You think they're unified because that's more profitable, duh. Why is PR at such an important meeting? <laughs> well, it does make sense that, to, like, if they organize themselves, they could probably make a lot more profit. In a sense, it's a place the rest of the world has forgotten about, might. It's a carefree and peaceful paradise, might. You may be right that it is a peaceful paradise. That is, however, exactly what these pinchers may be after. The area is so peaceful that we only have one area ranger stationed there. This is Oblivia Region's motto, Might. Oblivia, islands of ancient ruins and legends, Might. Sounds like an adventure, doesn't it, Might? Indeed. Recently, many archaeology buffs have been visiting these islands. If I ever have the time, I would definitely like to visit, but... <laughs> God, I need to hydrate my fruit for this. Now listen, you two. It may be peaceful, but don't let your guard down. Now that is the second part of my explanation of the Oblivia region, Mike. There are nine parts in all, Mike. So make yourselves comfortable, okay, Might? That's enough. If you are that desperate for work, I'll think of something for you to do. At any rate, this mission is urgent. If you're gonna give me a job, Might, please give me something fun, okay, Might? That's something you'll just need to look forward to. Our discussion has gone slightly off track, my young rangers. Depart immediately for the Oblivia region. Cooperate with Pokemon and foil the Pokemon Pinchers' plans. Defend nature and peace for everyone. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I don't say anything. So we're heading for the islands of the... <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> we're heading to the islands of Oblivia. Oh, this music as well. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to take a moment. <laughs> Current location, X coordinate zero five five six six five. Y coordinates three five five six seven one. Sea water has penetrated the Styler's voice nav circuit. Current location X coordinate zero five Y coordinate Sea water penetrated the Styler's bzzz. It sounds like a B. <laughs> This is Dulce Island in the Oblivia region. Bzzz. 
Recovering voice nav program. Recovering voice nav program. Please verify that you own this styler by entering your name. Okay, easy enough. There we go. Oh, I mean, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you believe the biz is supposed to be static? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Molly, correct. Your name has been verified. Recovery is almost complete. If you want to use Styler functions, please touch the Styler menu button in the lower right corner of the screen. For more information, please refer to the glossary in the Styler menu. The styler's communication functions cannot be recovered. Communication with Ben is currently impossible. Current location. X coordinate 055665. Y coordinate 355671. You are currently on Dulce Island in the Oblivia region. According to the data about this area, Dulce Island is uninhabited. The nearest inhabited island is Rainbow Island, which is north up. <laughs> I love how it specifies the direction of north of Dolls Island across a narrow strait. I do not own this stylus yet. Yeah, I have the exact same number of the owner. The owner is dead over there. <laughs> yeah, like, if you just know the person's styler that you stole from, like their name, it would be pretty easy to hack into it. Uh, save machine has been placed here. Use this save machine to record your progress. Make sure to record your progress when you see a save machine. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go find that Pichu with the ukulele. <laughs> Not this way. Oh yeah, there's a map on the top screen, sorry. <laughs> I guess that just kind of shows I haven't played this game in years. Looks like it is about to attack. Do you want to activate the capture tutorial for new rangers? No thanks. I know how to do it. Ow. <laughs> Here we go. Not flawlessly, but oh well. Pichu, it restores the styler energy a little. The capture conveyed your feelings of friendship to Pichu. Pichu is no longer dangerous. Pichu! You're okay! Yeah, one of them's okay, but not the rest. Oh, it's this guy. Um...
He just found out trapdoors don't count as walls for going to bed. Oh, Minecraft, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I love the optional tutorial. I wish more games didn't just force tutorials all the time. <laughs> Hmm. Where are the other Pichu friends? Don't know, huh? Who are those folks who showed up on those UFO-looking things anyhow? I was far away, so I couldn't see very well. And what were they doing chasing Pokemon round anyways? Well, what do we have here? A Pokemon Ranger. I've never seen you around these parts. What's your name? Molly, huh? Not a bad name. I'm Booker, the master shipbuilder from Rainbow Island across the way. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You don't have the glass yet, so you improvise with trap doors. Now you're kind of sad you did. Could you use some dirt? Surely you could find some, right? This island doesn't have many places much higher than this. So if there was a tidal wave or something, there wouldn't be any place to run. So to make sure I'm ready, I'm always building small boats. They're life rafts for the Pokemon that can't fly or swim. Seems like little ukulele Pichu's taking a shine to you. I came up with the nickname Ukulele Pichu. The blue ukulele looks great on the Pichu, huh? This little Pichu's smile always makes me feel better when I'm worn out from a hard day of shipbuilding. So I threw together a ukulele with leftover wood. It can't really play, but every time electricity runs through it, the ukulele makes a little, little twang. So it's a great toy for Pichu. It sure sounds like a ukulele, to be honest. By the by, have you ever seen a UFO? When I was strolling along the beach of Rainbow Island, I saw UFOs flying above Dulce Island. I was worried about the Pokemon, so I hurried over on my boat. When I got here, a suspicious group was chasing around the Pokemon. But before I could even holler, they disappeared into the sky on their UFOs. Were they aliens? <laughs> I love it when aliens are brought up in Pokemon. Yeah, but it would ruin the aesthetic. <laughs> Surely it would just be temporary until you can get something better, right? That's not a nickname, Gramps. That's a description. <laughs> yeah, kind of like a title. <laughs> This Pichu was fine, but there's no sign of its little Pichu pals or any of its other Pokemon friends. They probably hid themselves somewhere. Yeah, or they got captured, one of the two. By the way, young ranger, this here's no place to camp. Want me to take you to Rainbow Island? How is this not a place to camp? It's like the perfect place to camp. No need to answer. To get to my boat, go north, up, and then east, right. <laughs> it's on a pier on the beach. Let's head that way first. Now, Pichu, why don't you let go? Why don't you go let your hiding friends know that those bad folks are gone? You can use the sound from your ukulele to let them know. Okay, maybe there are some still around. Say hello to your friends. Okay then. Can I talk to 
talk to you? No. Oh, I can by tapping you. Oh, hello. Okay, if I capture you, will you join the team? Yes, okay, cool. Oh. Our friend Pokemon has joined you. Display or hide your friend Pokemon by touching your character. <laughs> yeah, I like having them out though. It just feels right to have Pokemon follow me. This is just the thing in Pokemon that should always be the case. Having Pokemon follow you, like if you want to, of course. It just feels right. Centret? Shit. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Level up. Wonder if on the Pokemon I caught can you get rid of that? A small log is blocking the road. Get a Pokemon's help for a target clear. Activate the target clear tutorial. No thanks. I'll get the Sunken first. Oh, wow, that was easy. Just two loops. What do I need? Just one of those? I'll get rid use the Sunkern. <laughs> Just because I like Bulbasaur better, so I'll keep Bulbasaur around a bit longer. The small log was cut up into tiny fragments. Oh, <laughs> I was expecting Sunkern to be back there where I caught it. Oh, hello Teddy Ursa. I'm probably just gonna catch pretty much everything I see for now. At least until I've got a full team. Or until I've just got. I'm just seeing Pokemon I've already got. Like another Teddy Ursa. <laughs> well, I might just catch it anyway, just have a full team. That's where we're headed Renvo Island. I live in Coconut Village on that island. Renvo Island boasts bountiful Pokemon filled nature, simple and honest folk, and the magnificent wireless tower on the top of that mountain. Yeah, I'll get this Teddy or so just so I fill up my team. else hiding around here? Oh, hello, Ursaring. <laughs> bit early in the game to have a fully evolved Pokemon, right? Well, it's not fully evolved anymore, but as of this game it was. There's gonna be no Pokemon left on this island at this rate. It's a play with an explanation attached. Words in Oblivia's ancient script meanings and pierces are written here. A mun. Wait, what? I don't remember what this is for. 
Well, I'm guessing whatever it's for, it's not for yet. It's not for now. <laughs> Away, didn't they? You forgot to tie it up. I must have been in such a rush that I plum forgot to tie my boat to the pier. Called it. <laughs> I may be a master shipbuilder, but I'm a tad rash and tend to do things like this from time to time. Now I've done it. I can't get back to Rainbow Island now. I guess they're camping here tonight. I've got it. Oh, there's another boat. Of course there is. We can just use the ship I've started building. No need to... <coughs> God, it's just kind of straining my throat. Ice doesn't work for farming? I'm pretty sure no, unfortunately. No need for the worried face, even if it ain't finished. I didn't mean to type tap the screen. It's still safer than other people's finished boats. I need a favor though, Molly. Can you push that boat into the ocean? Usually I need about five strong backs to move it. But today, all I've got is you. You're a Pokemon Ranger, so you can figure something out, right? Probably the Ursa Ring can do that. Hello, Meryl. Do you have a strong back, by chance? Okay, I've got a full team now. Yep, Ursa Ring. <laughs> yeah, surely that won't damage it at all, right? Bye, Ursa Ring. That's a Pokemon Ranger for you. Now we can go to Rambo Island. Okay, simple enough. Oh, hello, Wingle. You can replace her, Sering. Also a noisy motorbike going by outside. I do apologize if you can hear that. I've already got a wingle, so don't need a second one. Nothing else. You're done with what you need to do before leaving for Rainbow Island. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well then, now our long voyage shall begin. Long voyage? We're only crossing the strait, aren't we? Well, actually, it's over in a flash. I've just always been wanting to say that. <laughs> Pichu? What's wrong, little Pichu? You couldn't find your friends? Which means that they aren't here anymore. Hmm. It sure seems like Pichu wants to look for its friends and leave this here dull island. Okay, get on board. Pichu's gonna come with us to Rainbow Island. <coughs> How long are you gonna talk for? You're st <laughs> I need something else. I need someone else to talk for, honestly.
just noticed I don't have the timer visible. is right over there. Welcome back, Booker! Oh, hello there, Ralph. You're nice and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> what? Full of energy as always, I see. <laughs> <coughs> You're embarrassing me. That's a weird compliment, by the way. I'm in danger! <laughs> oh dear. Who is that? This here's Molly, a Pokemon Ranger. Really? But that Pokemon Ranger uniform seems kind of different. I've never seen a Ranger with red goggles and a yellow scarf before. The uniform? does seem a little different. But there's no doubt Molly's a ranger, though. The proof is that I saw the whirling round stuff with my own eyes. Whirl round stuff around? <laughs> you mean a capture? If that's what it was, I sure wish I could have seen it. Huh? You should... You sure don't see ukulele peach you got to this island after. I'm gonna go tell everyone a ranger has come to our village, cause I think everyone is worried about this UFO star! I'm not very good at doing Ralph Wiggins' voice, am I? <laughs> Ralph is such a reliable boy. He can probably tell you lots about this island as well. By the by, I'll bet you're tuckered out from everything today. Why don't you rest at my place for a spell? You can come along too, Pichu. Uh oh. Well, Pichu's on his way to save the day. Oh, welcome home, boss. Was this person with you? Oh no, could it be? Disillusioned with being a ranger, this person has come to ask to be your new apprentice. Then, moved by those words, you decided to take them in. If that's the case, I'm no longer needed, so it's back your bags and hit the road, right? Boss, how could you do that to me? Molly isn't doing any such thing. If you don't have anything better to do than dream up lame stories, why don't you hurry and get our guests some tea? Oh, Phil, I'm so relieved to hear that. That's my apprentice. Oh, wrong voice. That's my apprentice shipbuilder, Nick. He's a hard worker, but he has a wild imagination, and he's always worrying about foolish things. Because of that, work gets interrupted all the time. By the way, Molly, what brings you to Oblivion? Yeah, screw Stranger Danger. It's not a thing in Pokemon, for the most part. And? When I met you on Dull Silent, your clothes were soaked. What in the world happened? I see. So there's UFOs and the vehicles of the Popon Pinchers. Excuse me. A group of kidnaps Pokemon. That means they took Dull Silence Pokemon. What an unbelievable group of good for nothings. Oh, what I find worrying is your story about the other ranger. Oh no, could it be? Your partner's been caught by the bad guys and is bound with a rope in... Nick! Knock off! That worthless daydreaming! 
So sorry. Molly, being separated from your partner and washing up here has probably made you a little unsure. But don't you worry, none. I'm here, and so is energetic little Ralph and my apprentice, Nick. You're not alone. Thank you. And ukulele Pichu can soothe you with its cheery music. Thanks, I needed to hear that. <laughs> yeah, Booker's really friendly, isn't he? Where's ukulele Pichu? We, we've got big trouble! I'm in danger! Did your mom catch you playing tricks again? No, that's not it! The UFOs are back! I saw them flying, one after another! I'm in danger! Really? Where were they heading? To what? Wait. <laughs> I'm in danger! Towards Teakwood! Hmm. I'm trying to think how to do Ralph's voice. I can't seem to get that, get it right. I'm in danger! I'm in danger! Towards Teakwood Forest! Arlie went there to see, but... That's not right. Um, nah. <laughs> Arlie went to see what's going on, but he hasn't come back. I feel like that's the best I can do, honestly. <laughs> Anything else just sounds not quite right. Like, well, that one doesn't sound quite right, but the others sound even more not right. <laughs> Oh, but this is Arlie we're talking about, and he's incredibly strong, so... Oh no, could it be? Perhaps he caught a UFO and was trying to crush it. Catching it went all well and good, but maybe they ended up hitting him with a shrinking ray. <laughs> and then, and then... Nick! Oh, you meant Nick, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Nick's pretty good as well with his... Hyper imagination. Knock off the pointless daydreams already. Molly, I'm sorry to ask favors when you're all tuckered out, but could you go to Teakwood Forest and see what's going on? I'll come too. I'm worried about Arlie. He's in danger. He's big and strong, but I was surprised when I heard how old he was. He's really old. New mission, new mission. Protect Arlie, who went to navigate, investigate in Teakwood Forest from the Pokemon Pinchers. Drive the Pinchers out of the woods. Should be simple enough, right? Teakwood Forest is west, left of Coconut Village. By the way, Ralph, have you seen Ukulele Pichu? I was worried about Arlie, so I ran right here. He's in danger. I wasn't looking around. Okay. Okay, you already said that. I'm worried about Arlie. Can you go check on him? Oh, I'm worried about Arlie. What if I can't focus on work? Yeah, you're ADHD as heck, aren't you? <laughs> I've got a wingle. Is there anything else around here? Krabby? Doom thinking... Wait, hang on. <laughs> In Dutch, you've got a name for what he does. Doom thinking, literally translated. <laughs> yeah, it's like doom scrolling, except... Thinking instead of scrolling. Uh, nah. Wingle. Oh, I can go this way. Or this side, actually. I don't know which direction I'm supposed to actually be going. Oh, I can't tell. <laughs> okay then. 
Hachirisu, though. Oh, you're a fast one. Whew. Right, you're probably recharged, yeah. Patrice better than the Reap, so yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hop it. This is how the start of every Pokemon game is. You're all you're catching all the Pokemon. <laughs> and progress is very slow. I suppose cut is probably more useful than recharge, so sorry, Patrice. <laughs> this beach is called Lapras Beach. It's called that because my beloved Lapras lives here. Okay. But what about everyone else who lives here? The tide is high now, you can't go east. Wait until low tide. Oh. Alright then, a wiggly buff up there. Don't think I can reach you though. I thought UFOs were really charming, but the ones I saw just now were far from charming. Sorry, I'm still like fiddling around with my layout. Well, not my layout, my setup. Because I'm not used to playing on the DS while streaming. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's a charger, isn't it? Hey, Ranger, is your Steiner energy okay? Is it in danger? <laughs> I will touch that. If you touch that recharge machine, it will recharge your Styler to full. Selecting Pokemon that can use recharge also lets you recover Styler energy. Oh. I wanted to save, not recharge. You forgot that's you forgot Styler energy was a thing. <laughs> well, now you remember. Can't catch that. My dad told me there was less and less Pokemon in the forest. Doe is for Dulce Island, Ray is for Rainbow Island. Me was what was the name of that island? Oh, so they're named after the um I forget what it's called. Phonetic... Phonetic... Phonetic alphabet, maybe? I'm worried about my son working on Mount Lato Lato. For me to be able to see a UFO with my own eyes, live and learn as they say. Okay, thank you for not talking forever. You gonna lurk for a bit? No problem, Stein. Thanks for the lurk, and I hope your minecrafting is going well. I'm a festival kind of guy. I'm not concerned about UFOs. The only thing that worries me is if they'd cancel our rainbow festival. You mean pride? <laughs> the UFO flew to the west, left. Ranger, you must be going through a lot. Come to think of it, where in the world is my husband off wasting time? Dunno. Who is your husband? Okay, this house is empty. Arlie's face may scare you, but he told me my Pachirisu is very cute. 
<laughs> Pachirisu is cute. Booker is making those small boats for Pokemon as well, he says. To the west, left of Coconut Village is Teakwood Forest. Go through it and you'll reach Rasp Cavern. Okay. The early game cave. There's always gotta be one. Yeah, I love the way my Pokemon are following me. <laughs> Hopip's kind of trailing behind a bit though. It's an old monument. Okay. It appears to be a stone to represent the forest protector. This ancient stone is called the Stone of Time. It's protecting the villagers beyond time. What? <laughs> Hello, Hellhound Luna. How you doing today? <laughs> You've been shot out of a cannon? What? What happened? My god, that's a big starly. <laughs> Ar Arley, the old lumberjack, went chasing after a UFO towards Teakwood Forest, and he's still not back. Yeah, that's my go-to voice for old men, isn't it? <laughs> Pokemon are kind of like us. They can feel happy, frightened, or agitated. I just realized all this lecture must be unnecessary for rangers. Yep, it sure is. Thanks, though. Did you see those UFOs? I've never seen anything like those when I was in the Fiore region. Fiore region? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Hey, wait a minute. Are you two going to Teakwood Forest? The Pokemon there were really frightened by all the commotion with the UFOs. Many Pokemon will run at the sight of a person. I won't try to stop you from going into the forest, but be careful. Okay, thank you. Hello, Cricketop. Ah. Got ya. <laughs> Ooh, uh... Easy. <laughs> Oh, the cutting ones. Uh, goodbye, Wingle. <laughs> hey, Toot. I'm guessing you're going to be another cutting Pokemon. Yeah, of course. Uh, nah. Not for right now. Hey you! Don't you dare stand in the way! This is what you'll get! These new control gauntlet things they gave us are really great. I have no idea how they work, but it's so easy to catch Pokemon with them. Seems like they're like a master ball. Like, guaranteed catch. What are you doing talking to yourself and sacking off on guard duty? Get back to your post now. I still don't think we really need to have someone on watch. I... I'm going now. Those guys are Pokemon pinchers? Wow, they're really bad. I'm in danger. Ranger, please protect the Pokemon from those bad guys. They're in danger. Cooperate with the friend Pokemon following you and protect the Pokemon. Activating the Poke Assist tutorial. 
Okay, why am I doing this? Oh, a Cyndaquil. The Pokey Assist tutorial has begun. For a Pokey Assist, get a Pokemon in your party to help you during a capture. When you touch the Pokey Assist button at the bottom right, it will show you the Pokemon that can help you with a Pokemon Pokey Assist. Okay, it's just playing automatically. You'll see an arrow above the Pokemon depending on the matchup. Blue means a lot of your feelings of friendship are conveyed. Red means the amount conveyed is less. Select the Pokemon you want to receive help from. When you slide it over and lift the stylus, the Pokemon is placed in the field for a Poke Assist. And you choose the Dunsparce, when you could have chosen the Totodile. When the bar is filled, the Pokemon can perform the Poke Assist again. Damn, it recharged this fast. However, if your Pokemon is hit by the Pokemon you're capturing, it'll be released. Be careful where you place your Pokemon. You cannot capture a Pokemon by Poke Assist alone, no matter how much of your feelings of friendship have been conveyed. Sorry, I'm very sleepy. <laughs> You'll have to draw loops around it to capture it. You can check your browser to see which... Blah blah blah. Yeah, what an entrance, Luna. <laughs> I agree with Stein there. Hello, Sandler. Here we go. Ooh, nice. Okay, yeah, you can join. Uh... Goodbye, Centrip. <laughs> Hello. I'd like to catch you, please. Uh, go on then. Bye, Cricket Top. You're not a Cricket Tune, so you're out. <laughs> Oh, I can't destroy that. It look like it's Yeah, we'll just get rid of a just give a bit of a shortcut, wouldn't it? Nothing here. Can I Yeah, I can actually tap them to check. Thank you, Hoppip. Could get that cricket all just so I've got another Pokemon in the party. <laughs> nice. are going with the secret team in the cave. Who knows? Our job is just to guard the entrance. You shouldn't be thinking about anything else. What 
What's with this thing? Got a ukulele on its back. Like it could actually play. I've seen it before. It got away from me recently. Could it be? Did it chase us here because we called its friends? Do Pokemon even feel friendship? It's a little unbelievable, but whatever. I'll let you see your friends, so just stand still and let me pinch you. Ow. <laughs> What's with that aggressive posture? It's got a pretty nasty glare for being so cute. Come on, watch out, this little guy's serious. It looks like it's about to come charging at us. Don't worry, we have these control gauntlets. Ukulele Pichu's the only one with the sense to dodge it. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh you're still there. Stop it! Pichu's in danger! Now, kids, would you just leave us alone here? Huh? A Pokemon Ranger? But I heard there was just one old ra ranger in Oblivia. Well then, we'll just have to get rid of the extra one. Weasel, Krogunk, charge! Oh, this music. One down, two down. You got some ice cream, that's why you were lurking. <laughs> okay, no problem. What kind of ice cream you got? Excuse me just a quick second. Ice cream. Huh. I've never had pear ice cream. Doesn't sound that good if you ask me, but I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> How embarrassing. This is too much. Bye. Pichu, are you okay? Are you in danger? Um, Pichu? Pokemon for that. Wait, can I? I got two Teddy Ursa. Can I? No, I can't. I can't use two like rock smashes to make that. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Water ice cream. Isn't that just... slush? <laughs> uh, okay... There is a stone. You- you don't say! <laughs> yeah, why not save? No, because it's a solid. Okay, very thick, like, slush then. <laughs> Hello, Pucciana. So many Pokemon to catch. Uh, just to get a bit more variety on the team, let's get rid of one of the Teddy or so. Zubat. You look very gen free colors. Uh, 
He's sending me an image. Um... Oh, it's vanilla. Or at least it looks vanilla. Like vanilla ice cream. The like pink smash Pokemon, so let's get rid of one of them. <laughs> the Razubat. Let's go this dead end way. There's a coughing. There. <laughs> how but how much better could I have done? Exactly. <laughs> Bye, Spinarak. Okay, oh, okay, fine, I'll catch the Summer Zubat. Here am I. <laughs> and yeah, that would be better than the a two cut is better than a one cut of Bulbasaur, so sorry Bulbasaur. <laughs> Aha. Uh, coughing. <laughs> Flavored water that's frozen solid. Okay. So it's like a nice lolly then. Because <laughs> the picture you sent me, it just looks like vanilla ice cream. Uh, uh, I've told you not to come in here. <laughs> that's a new voice, I think. Arley! Are you in danger? You're okay! Ralph, I've told you not to come in here. It's too dangerous. And what's this? Based on how you look, I'll bet you're a Pokemon Ranger. You didn't come back, and I was really, really worried you were in danger. This Ranger has come to Oblivia, so I asked for some help to look for you together. Oh, see. Sorry to get angry with you, but I'm okay. Being a lumberjack has has made me very strong. <laughs> I'm not really the best at deep voices. Even though you're pretty old. Come on, Ralph. Actually, I came here because I wanted to see what these guys are up to. But they seem to need Water something. Water would be nice. <laughs> hey, Kerr, how you doing today? <laughs> And thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> it looks like they're only investigating the monument while, while a rather powerful Pokemon is lured away. You're good, glad to hear it. You'll be lurking. Okay, no problem. Thanks for the lurk. I hope you're having a great day. It doesn't look like they intend to harm the villagers right now. Hey, wait! I told her not to go! Yeah, Pichu isn't really listening to anyone right now. Capture that rock or stone. Ooh. Vandal. We got the emblem!
Well, what's it doing? You shouldn't interfere with people's work. Whoa, what? Gonna give me a shock, huh? Like I'd let you. This is what you get! Aww. Broke its ukulele, huh? You are quite the villain. How do you like them pineapples? <laughs> Arrogant little Pokemon trying to get a piece of me. No good will come of capturing you. Stop looking at me. Get out of here. It can't be a Pokemon Ranger. What were those guards doing anyway? Being defeated, that's what. Poor Pichu! The ukulele was in danger! Uka Pichu's ukulele is broken! I'm sure these bad guys broke it! They're now in danger from us! Well, whatever could you be talking about? Hey, partner. Get the ZZ flyer ready. I can handle these brats on my own. Craney dose. Give them a taste of a headbutt. Ah! <laughs> Ouch. Not him, you dolt. Your opponent is the Pokemon Ranger. <laughs> Oh, the humor in the Pokemon Ranger games is definitely very good. <laughs> Oops. Come back on screen, please. Thank you. There we go. Bit of damage, but not too bad. think about it, there wasn't any real reason to fight. We've already got what we wanted. Yeah, right, sore loser! Cheer up, Pichu! The ranger taught the bad guys who broke your ukulele a lesson! All I did was just make... release their craniness. Hmm. <laughs> if we had the emblem, there's no reason to hang around. Smell you later, Ranger. Oh, I get the reference. <laughs> Eek, watch it! Hey, watch where you're going. And did you forget? You're supposed to be luring Raikou away from here. Don't get mad at me. You ran into me. It seemed like there was a commotion around the monument, so I came here to see what was going on. Might as fine Sunday. Eh, just it's just one of those days. Well, it's been one of those days for like the last few days for me, but oh well. <laughs> I felt like streaming today, so why not get back onto it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> not really the best at like looking at chat while looking down at my DS. I'm still trying to get the hang of streaming while playing on a DS. <laughs> Which means Raiko is. Hello! Grr. Oh no, run! I didn't think Raiko was introduced yet. Wasn't that the legendary Pokemon Raikou just now? I can't believe we met Raikou! And I'm surprised I'm not in danger! That was really lucky! You Peach's ukulele was broken! Pichu is so independent! Wait, Pichu! If you run off, you might be in danger! 
I wonder where Peachy went. Those disrespectful simpletons. I thought they were only investigating the monument. Hey, Arlie! What was written on that monument anyway? I can't read it because it was written in letters from long ago, but I've heard that something about Raiko was written on it. Do you think the writing has something to do with that story? Raiko and the Hero of Oblivia? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. That's not something I would know. I'm sure it does! I heard about that legend from Booker! Molly! Thank you for driving off the pictures! Thanks to you, Arlie didn't have to overdo it ch chasing those dangerous bad guys! He wasn't in danger! I already know what rangers say at a time like this! That was an excellent mission clear, ranger! No ukulele twang in it. <laughs> Congratulations on the mission, Clear. Clearing missions gives you ranger points. You can use these ranger points for Styler Modification. Unfortunately, though, Styler Modification is currently unusable. Part of the system was destroyed by the shock of impact from falling. Well then, why don't we head back to Coconut Village? There should be another exit if you go around the corner ahead. Okay, now we're all walking together. Any new Pokemon along the way? Off limits when the festival is not on. Oh, Dunsparce. I'm stunky, but let me catch this Dunsparce first. What kind of dun sparse you would be? <laughs> right, stunky as well. That's gotta be an S rank, right? Nah. <laughs> of the like rock smash ones by Pucciana <laughs> got a stunky already oh hello <laughs> you must be the crany dose I just caught and released Here we go. Yeah, you can join. Bye, Dunsparce. Uh, oh, Krogunk. Hey, I've already. I already called Krogon. What does it have? Okay, I don't need that. Ooh, pretty dose. Here you go. Nice. Thank you.
No. Can I cut this down now? I can. Vandalizing a fence. <laughs> I might as well catch you because I've got some slots on the team now. Like open slots. you're all just going to be the same. Ooh, slow fade and a save. That's when you know a big cutscene is probably about to happen. <laughs> Please take care of yourself. Thank you, Dr. Edward. Having you here is a huge help to us. <coughs> oh, this voice is not nice to my throat. <laughs> Dr. Edward, how have you been? Why, hello there, Arlie. You're looking as muscular as ever. I'm impressed that you keep training daily at your age. By the way, who is the young person with you? This is Molly, a Pokemon Ranger. I'm not in danger. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Edward. I take care of sick and injured villagers all over Oblivion. Is someone around here not feeling well? Like, I can still hardly believe it, even though I saw it with my own eyes. But the truth is, the great Raikou was charging through the village. At the last second, I swiftly dodged it. Raikou's charge, but I got this scrape. Stop spitting lies, you! He was so surprised by Lyco's charge that his legs gave out. He only fell. More importantly, dear, when you saw the great Raiko, was the hero of Oblivia riding it? Come now, woman. Does anyone take that old legend seriously? Now, now, you two, no need to argue. I'm just so happy that I had a chance to see the great Raiko. A deep, deep valley blocks the way. If you can cross, go ahead, I say. The scary valley likes to brag. No one can cross my rocky crags. What nonsense speaks the silly valley for a great Raiko, it's one bound. Hero on its back, just one bound. <laughs> that was very improv and I had no idea if the rhythm was going to work. <laughs> I sang that all the time when I was little because I wanted to meet Raiko. Oh, that's right. It looked like Raiko was chasing those UFOs. Raiko looked really agitated. Sorry to interrupt the fun, but... I need to talk with Dr. Edward. Feats of strength are my strong point, but my back has been hurting recently. Could you take a look at it? That's troubling. Okay, I'll examine you. Thanks for your help, Pokemon Ranger. Arlie is really strong, but he's way older than you would think. So... His life must be in danger! <laughs> Oops, I said it again! Arlie, I'm sorry! I hope you feel better soon! Do you think 
think Ollie was mad? I might be in danger. By the way, did anyone see a Pichu with a broken ukulele on its back? I just saw that Pichu. It was running toward Booker's house. What? Really? I'm worried about Pichu. Do you think it might be hurt? Molly, let's go see! There's a timer in the bottom right. You hadn't seen that before. Yeah, it's in most of my streams. Like, whenever I have, like, a highlight I want to make... Um... Just trying to wonder if there's a better... Probably over there is probably a bit better, so it's a bit less, like, in your face. <laughs> Yeah, whenever I, there's something I want to highlight, I just take a screenshot. Um, of the stream. <laughs> Sorry. And with that timer, I know where exactly in the stream the highlight is. So when the stream's done, I can easily find it. <laughs> Sorry, I hope what I said just made sense. Because I kind of felt like I tripped over my own tongue a few times there. <laughs> Sometimes I do forget to put it on, but oh well. Uh, let's get the Styler a charge. Done. Alright, alright already. I've got it. So just calm down a little bit. <coughs> Smart, thank you. It looks like there is a person with a problem. When someone needs a ranger's help. A speech bubble with three periods in it will display above his or her head. I could just say their head. That is a gender neutral way of saying, like, someone's head. When you talk to this person, he or she will tell you about the problem. Listening to someone's problem and solving it for them is what Pokemon Rangers call a quest. If you see a person with a speech bubble with free periods in it above their head. There you go. You didn't have to say his or her there. Be sure to talk to them. You can always check content of the quests you've taken on in the quest part of the Styler menu. Oh, Pichu's ukulele is broken. Oh, Molly, I've been so worried about you. Booker! They broke Peach's ukulele! It was in danger! I see that. peach has been asking me to fix it. You can fix it, can't you? I'd love to fix it right away. But you need material with good strength grain to fix that ukulele. It's hard to find, and only available on Dull Silent. I hid it in a tricky place. Oh, I can go get it for you. Since everybody seems to be occupied. You should really be occupied helping me build boats. But I'll leave it to you, Nick. The material that can fix the ukulele is hid in a hollow tree trunk. Oh, I got it. But if I see that bad bunch on Dull Island and I get caught because of my bad luck and get bound with ropes a smidgen on the dead side. <laughs> Another one of your daydreams. Or should I say day nightmares, huh? Or maybe daymares? <laughs> Molly, will you help him? I'd be too worried to send Nick alone. Oh, I'm sure I'll be just fine. Except that 
It's not a bad idea to go with a Pokemon Ranger. Will you come with me? I sure will. <laughs> Outside this house is a pier. There's a fisherman there who uses one of my boats. Ask him and he'll take you to Dulce Island. I'll be waiting with Pichu! I keep switching to like the Nimona voice rather than the Ralph voice. Yeah, you already said that, thank you. <laughs> In the menu. Oh, <laughs> the last button I checked, the R button. <laughs> okay. Right. Here. Hello. Want to go to Dulce Island on Booker's boat? All aboard! just me. <laughs> I just absorbed everyone else into my body so that we don't take up too much space on the boat. Here we are. Oops. I wanted to talk to Nick but I pressed the wrong button. Oh, the material is in a tree trunk with a huge hole in it. Uh, yeah, let's catch a wing girl just to get another member on the team. Ursaring. Uh, yeah, I think I want that Ursaring, thank you. There we go. Bye, <laughs> uh, Stunky. <laughs> There's anything more here? Hmm, I don't know what that's about. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out eventually or remember or something. <laughs> is a recharge. Oh, that must be the tree trunk the boss was talking about. I'll go get it. Just wait and watch my back. If there's a horrible trap inside the trunk and the trap turns out to be some sticky odd fluid and I touch it out of curiosity with my toe despite my <laughs> Got instinct. What am I doing? I just started thinking negative again. What's required here is not my imagination, but the ability to jump. There I go. Nice. How did you like my jump? Wasn't it something? Let's see. Where is the material to fix the ukulele? Here it is. Ranger, I found it. Oh. What am I feeling around my feet? <laughs> Rather tough, rough. Ah! Very comedic panic music. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, six sunk her, and that shouldn't be too bad, right? <laughs> that, 
There, got them all in one loop. <laughs> Took quite a few tries though. Oh, feel. I'm glad they finally calmed down. It seems I stepped on them while they were taking a nap in the great trunk. Sunken. Sorry to disturb your nap. <laughs> they don't seem to mind that much now. Oh, that sure seemed like a life or death adventure for me. I'm glad we got the material to fix the ukulele. If I carry it though, it might take up all my attention and I may not talk much, which could cause tension between you and me. I'd certainly want to avoid that. Ranger, will you carry it for me? Lazy. Let's go back to the boss's house. I'm sure that we'll see Beechel's happy face. I'm sure we will. Yeah, I'm guessing, yeah, these Pokemon are all just gonna be the same that I've already got, so... Might as well just ignore them and just carry on. <laughs> Until I can't. Oh, Ranger, did you see that? The wireless tower on Rainbow Island over there just flashed a couple of times. You see that over there? The building near the summit. Do you see it? That's the wireless tower on Mount Lato Lato. I just saw something flash around its antenna. Yeah, like that. There. Did you see that? Were you paying attention? Yes. I wonder what that flashing is. Oh no. Could it be that my boss is angry because I'm still here? And he climbed up the wireless tower antenna to give me a scolding for signals using a miller or something. <laughs> oh my god, I love this guy already. <laughs> I forgot how stupid his, like, ideas are. Oh, I started thinking negative again. It's a bad habit of mine. It can go on endlessly, so please do not hesitate to stop me when it happens. Let's hurry and deliver the ukulele material. He told me how funny he is, yeah. <laughs> I do remember the basics about this game, but most of the stuff I don't remember. I just remember having a lot of fun with this game. And I'm definitely beginning to remember why. Right. We're back! Yes, I got the material. Thank you for not talking, Booker. My voice appreciates the bit of a break you're giving me. Quest clear. Congratulations. When you clear a quest, you'll receive ranger points. Just like clearing a mission. You can normally spend the ranger points you receive by clearing quests to modify your styler. But that part of the system is currently broken and styler modification isn't available. Hey, Booker! Can you fix the ranger styler just like the ukulele? I'm in danger! I'm no good with computers and fancy electronic finger bobs. Thanks for your hard work, y'all. Well then, let's fix this here ukulele. 
technique. Would you like to give it a try? Oh, is that okay? I'd love to do it. I'm surprised you didn't start catastrophizing. This will take a little while to repair. How about doing a patrol of the village? I can guide you around Coconut Village! Okay then. Oh, a ranger! Perfect timing! There is something I would like you to see. Could you come to the plaza to the west, left of the village? Oh, uh, okay. I wonder what that could be! Molly, let's go have a look! He could be in danger! Okay, thank you. Let's heal this one little bit of charge. Now I gotta save again. <laughs> okay, west of the village. That is this way. Aha! Now I've seen everything. The stone of time is glowing. here. This suddenly started glowing a little while ago. What could be causing it? Big! <laughs> Celebi looks so weird to me when it's not shiny. Thanks to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I feel like the green Celebi is the shiny one. It's like Celebi used Frenzy Plant. There we go. Now it's going to be Pokemon Legends Ranger. <laughs> Pokemon Ranger Legends. That would be a really interesting game actually if they did like a Pokemon Legends game but you were a ranger in it. Hey Celebi, are you making mischief again? Who is this person? Very interesting. I've never seen clothes like that before. Wait, did you come here by Celebi's time travel? Did you come from another time? I've heard of Celebi's time travel, but I never thought it was true. Celebi, why did you do that? You need to take this person back to the right time. Hold on, can you wait for a while? My name is Ravio. There's something mis this sometimes mischievous one is called Celebi. It's my friend. By the way, what's your name? Where did you come from? What do you do? Do I ask it too many questions? <laughs> so your name is Molly? You take care of missions as a Pokemon Ranger? I don't have a clue what you're saying, but I think I can say this. 
Did you say you come from Coconut Village? Well, I don't come from Coconut Village, but that's where I was before this. They aren't gonna, though. Yeah, it does sound fun, but yeah, I do kind of doubt they would do that. <laughs> well, this place is called Coconut Plaza. You may come from a different time, but I think we are standing at the same place as that village. Molly, it scares me to think of knowing the future. But could you tell me more about Pokemon Rangers? Capture? Really? Can you get help from Pokemon just like the Temple Oracles? Are you sure? Did you become friends with Celebi, Molly? Then can you tell Celebi to stop its mischief? It even brought you here for no reason, it seems. It should know better. We are right in the front of our temples. <laughs> when you go through Teakwood Forest, there are several temples. These temples were built to honor a Pokemon called Arceus. All those temples are protected by the friendship between Pokemon and the Temple Oracles. Molly, can you forgive Celebi for being mischievous? Yes. <laughs> Celebi, you need to take Molly back to the right time. See you, Molly. I guess we won't see each other again. Take care. You know, just a regular day in the Pokemon world, getting sent back in time and telling a kid about the past. Well, about the future. <laughs> Molly! I was so surprised when that light started moving. I have no idea what just happened. I'm just so glad you're safe and not in danger! Oh, that's right! I'll bet Peach's ukulele is almost finished! Let's go back to Booker's house! Uh... Yeah, I'm in the middle of getting Peach's the ukulele, so let's do that first. I'll probably do one of these quests after doing this part. Welcome back, y'all. We just finished fixing the ukulele. Here you go, Pichu. Your precious ukulele. That's a very bouncy Pichu. Pichu. Hey Pichu, we fixed it thanks to Molly and Nick's hard work. Be sure to thank him, okay? Guessing that's thank you in Pichu language. By the by, Molly, about what to do next. You're going after those Pokemon Pinchers, or whatever they are, right? It's too bad you are separated from your partner. But there's one area ranger on this island. His name is Rand. You should go meet him as soon as possible. Come to think of it, Rand has a daughter who loves to tinker with machines. She might even be able to fix your styler. I can't wait to be finished with you, Booker, so that I can stop doing this voice, like, constantly. Oh, Rand's house is to the east, light, past Lapras Beach and a forest. At any rate, see you later. See you later, Molly! Don't be in danger! Okay, bye. <laughs> What's 
the matter, Pichu? Looks like Pichu wants to go on an adventure with Molly. Come on then, Pichu. You can be my Pokemon now. <laughs> Hold on there, Molly. Molly, this just popped into my head, but little ukulele Pichu might be thinking that if it works with you, it might be able to save its friends. I heard Pokemon Rangers have a partner Pokemon that always goes with them. How about taking Pichu along as your partner Pokemon? Sure. So it's settled. Isn't that great, Pichu? It's a shame it's not a Luxray, but oh well. <laughs> Close enough. It's an electric type, at least. Before you set out on your adventure, I have something I want to teach you. You already know how Pichu's ukulele reacts to Pichu's electricity and plays music, right? The music this Pichu plays mysteriously reaches the hearts of other Pokémon. In other words, it can help you with your captures. It works like this. Pichu is often playing, so you never know when it will come to help you. It'll often it'll appear at the energy gauge when it's ready to help you. Yeah, I love that. Stein, your avatar is like perfectly blocking the view. <laughs> Thank you for moving. <laughs> there we go. Now we can see Pichu. <laughs> when the music note from its ukulele reaches the Pokémon, Pichu's feelings of friendship are conveyed to the Pokémon. <coughs> the capture should be easier when the two of you your feelings of friendship. That's about it for now. <laughs> you got skills by blocking a Pichu. <laughs> This discussion was recorded in the glossary. For more information, please refer to the glossary in the Styler menu. I'll miss you, but it's time to go. Don't cause Molly any trouble now, okay? Okay, it's time for you to get going. Be sure to find Ukulele Pichu's friends. Right, are we finally done with Booker? <laughs> if he was gonna keep talking for much longer, I would have had to stop, like, doing that voice. <laughs> right, so we're heading this way. Because I said so, that's why. I'm asking you to have Lapras pull it up. Even Lapras can't go into the depths of the ocean. What's this? Are you perhaps a Pokemon Ranger? This is the first time I've ever seen another Ranger besides Papa in the Oblivia region. Are you good at swimming? Can you open your eyes underwater? No, actually. Can you deal with things with salt in them? I like salty food, if that's what you mean. Can you dive into the ocean with those goggles? 
Wow, they even let you breathe? Then I have a request. One of those UFOs fell into the ocean. I really want to examine it. Could you find it and pull it up for me? You have to, because on this island, there is a rule that you must grant up to free wishes of any girl who is younger than you. Wow, if only I knew that. <laughs> this is the first of those requests. There is a danger of an oil leak polluting the water. We should probably investigate the UFO that sank into the ocean. Salvage the sunken UFO. Excuse me, pick up. Your styler can talk? That's different than Papa's. I'm really fascinated by things like that. Hey, Nixie, you heard that, right? Let Lapras help, okay? If Lapras doesn't respect you, it won't let you ride, ranger or not. What? Really? Well, I guess we only have one choice. Ranger, make Lapras respect you. You're very bossy, aren't you? <laughs> I guess I'm just going along with it. Here we go. Since Lapras likes you, there's no problem. Lapras knows where the UFO crashed, so it can take you to that area. Come talk to me when you're ready to go. Are you ready to dive into the ocean? I guess so. Okay, thanks for going to salvage the UFO! You can't take land Pokemon like Pichu into the ocean! I'll watch that kind of Pokemon for you! Thank you, I suppose? Thanks, Lapras. Do I get to take Wing Doll with me at least? No. A metal object has been detected on the seafloor around this area. Ooh, a love disc. The detected metal object is at a greater depth. You'll be my first underwater capture. Disc, sure. <laughs> Pretty easy to catch. No, not quite as good though. <laughs> Mantike, hello. Are you the same one that I encountered at the start of the game? Probably not. There's probably a lot of Mantike in the ocean. So the chances are probably very low. <laughs> ok, 
Okay, nothing else. I'm just gonna have a team of love disc at this rate. Okay, let's just go for another round through this current. Down this way and out here. Clam Pearl and Horsey. Confirmed a very large metal object. I should have went for that Clam Pearl. <laughs> so I haven't got a Clam Pearl yet. So I didn't actually see that. <laughs> I was so focused on the clam pearl. Nice. Everything down here is just cut, isn't it? <laughs> Team of just cut. Ow! Okay, this course was a bit aggressive. Ooh, crush. Okay, that's a bit better. Anything up here? Chinchow. Nah. <laughs> I'm only missing one thing of... Ooh. The current is too strong. Proceeding is impossible as is. Find some way to stop the current. Oh, I see. I'm guessing the course will have to get rid of that. Yeah. <laughs> Just disrupt the ecosystem by interfering with the water currents. No big deal. Unable to detect any seawater pollution as a result of an oil leak. The reason the Pokemon is are aggressive seems to be surprised from when the vehicle fell into the ocean. Okay. Well, I'll happily hold on to that horsey, by the way. There we go. But I don't think I'm going to be allowed to keep that horsey, am I? Nope. Oh, hello, Kingdra! He wants to keep that. He wants to keep the ZZ Flyer. <laughs> Kingdra has taken the fallen vehicle somewhere. At this rate, there is a real danger that an oil leak will occur. Pursue Kingdra and prevent any damage to the ocean. This is going to be another sideways thing, isn't it? Kingdra seems to be very agitated. Be careful of its bubble attacks. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared for this when setting up the layout. <laughs> but it's only for like a minute. Well, not even a minute, to be honest. Those are not bubble attacks. There we go. Yeah, it's only like 30 seconds of sideways. It's not that bad. <laughs> you like the sideways stuff, Stein? <laughs> Getting very dark down here. Oh, hello, Carvana. The metal object has separated from Kingdra and is currently falling toward the ocean floor. Am I gonna prep a screen for the sideways stuff? I might do. trying to think are there any other games that I need to hold the DS sideways I guess there's brain training but I don't really plan on wait why is this underwater seems a bit weird for a propeller thing to be underwater like this shouldn't it be on the bottom yeah let's get a bit more variety on my team I don't have guitar hero <laughs> And I'm not exactly planning on getting it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Two love disc, two man tyke, two carvana. You think it only works on the OG DS? Well, that wouldn't work because this is a 2DS I'm playing on. Ooh, it's a bit hard to see. You have reached a depth that sunlight cannot reach. In dark oceans, Chin Chao emit two lights. Capture a Chin Chao to make the area around you brighter. Your surroundings get brighter for each Chin Chao you have with you. The crashed vehicle shines red in the darkness. Use the red light to search for it. Be careful though, in the dark, Sharpedo's light eyes also shine red. I'm gonna guess that's a Sharpedo then. Yep, knew it. But I'd like to catch it though. Because I need the GBA slot. Well, yeah, I definitely don't have that, so... <laughs> yeah, any games that require that are not gonna be an option for me. Uh... Goodbye. <laughs> That's probably a Sharpedo. That's probably, yeah. Oh! There we go. Yeah, Sharpedo are not very happy with me for that, are they? Danger, danger. The Sharpedo are attacking in order to defend their territory. Well, if they had just let me leave, I would have happily left. There we go. <laughs> Bit of trouble, but no big deal. That capture has calmed the Sharpedo. And now they're willing to just let me go. <laughs> I 
This is the UFO? It looks like it's related to a scooter. So apparently, this isn't of extraterrestrial origin. Besides, if you look here, it says ZZ Flyer 08. Pichu, what's wrong? <laughs> Pichu hates it. It looks like Pichu really has something against these ZZ Flyers, or whatever they're called. Thank you for listening to my request, Ranger. Thank you too, Lapras. Hey, Ranger, even if it was just my request, you did keep the ocean from getting polluted. This is definitely a mission clear, isn't it? So how about doing one of those for me? You mean one of these? It's a shame I don't do a backflip like the boy character does. <laughs> Your ranger pose is more like a rock star's than my papa's pose. Oh, that reminds me. I still haven't introduced myself, have I? My name's Nima. What's yours? So you're called Molly. Hmm. What brings you to the Oblivia region? To protect Oblivia from an evil outfit called the Pokemon Pinchers? That sounds... Somehow that sounds really cool! I just realized... I've been giving Nima the Nimona voice. And her name is very similar to Nimona's. <laughs> that was not on purpose, I swear. <laughs> what? You want to meet my papa? Sheesh, why didn't you just tell me sooner? I'll take you to my house. Oh, that's right. Help me carry that ZZ flyer to my house, okay? That's my second request. As you can see, the tide's out right now. So you can walk to Nima's house. You, you people nearly need to like figure out another way to make paths not be per like impossible regularly like that. Oh, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> my house is right outside of the forest. Let's hurry. Okay, then. Yeah, like, you got stairs here, but maybe you should have the stairs, like, up here so that, you know, this place isn't completely impassable regularly every day. Or is it every day? I don't think it is quite every day, is it? That the tide going in and out cycle happens. Because I think the tide going in and out is when the moon is like overhead. Which means it happens like every lunar day, which I think is a little bit longer than an Earth day, I think? Something like that? I could be completely wrong, but I think it's something like that? It's a UFO! I wonder if that UFO is another ZZ Flyer. Hello, Wiggly Buff. <laughs> oh, hello, Pichu. Wiggly <laughs> Buff singing and Pichu playing. Cricket top. <laughs> I 
Right. I need a quick break. Because I need to go stretch my legs and also have a bathroom break, so... I'll be back in a few minutes. This is a Pokemon... This is a Pokemon-like get-together and championship. This is not a place for fun. This is a place for boring <laughs> business stuff. My god, that was loud! <laughs> Thank you so much for the bit bits, Fen, but <laughs> that sound effect is so bloody loud. <laughs> ah! <sighs> okay, I'm turning that down. That's way too loud. <laughs> nah, Blahaj is specifically my clod sire. Hello, fellow students. Da -la 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 -la! Whoop! <laughs> I heard the da -la 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 whoop thing, <laughs> and I got excited. Well, that was easy. No animals here, I guess. Wait, wrong way. Okay, there's the land storms and I do want to fight them. What are you doing? Uh, are you sure you're doing that right? Um, I don't think that land storm knows what it's doing. There you are. I thought I just obliterated the Scorcher. <laughs> Lottie, <laughs> Lottie, please stay with me. I'm scared. Please turn in this room. Yes. What kind of place is this? I don't know where Lottie is, I'm scared. Dan's here. Don't like it, don't like it, don't like it! Oh, there she is. <laughs> Lottie, please, please stay with me, I'm scared. Oh, shit. Where was it? The med bay, and Lottie one was leaving. That indeed is very sus. Mm. I, I had been on Molly like a hawk and I left for two seconds. <laughs> and then we <laughs> and she was a shish cook. Still alive? How? Oh, there was a little platform down there. I just fall. I'm dead just went silent, but no, I was still alive. Here we are. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Animation is now over. <laughs> there we go. Chinese potatoes. a lot of stuff said in the span of like half a second. There we go. Right, so what levels are we talking here? Ooh, um... Meet my Palafin Low Kicks Hybrid. 
It's a new species, like never been seen before. Yeah, what is going on? Why isn't this low kicks moving? What else can I make? Um... Meet my low kicks Luxray hybrid. <laughs> It's like a Luxray, but it's got a low kicks for a face. <laughs> yeah, that low kicks just does not care. <laughs> Thanks for the clip, uh, frog. <laughs> This is gonna be the gimmick of Gen Generation 10. It's Pokemon hybrids. Okay, we're not. These aren't hy hybrided together. <laughs> I have a leaf. I don't have any leaves. Okay, I'll just have a fire flower then. Actually, I don't think that's gonna be very useful here. Oh, it's terrible! The king has been transformed! Please find the magic wand so we can change him back! Munchlax, hello. And an A-palm up ahead. Here we go. Munchlax better than Eagly Buff. Ooh, hello! <laughs> oh man! My whole body's tingling and my ZZ's flyer's busted. Are you okay? The woman I thought Raiko was glaring at me? Lightning suddenly struck my ZZ flyer. Angering Raiko was a mistake. You again? You caused us some trouble in Rasp Cavern. I'm still irritated about getting a lightning bolt from Raiko. And I'm gonna take it out on you. With a Piplup and an Eevee. <laughs> Two cute Pokemon. I can't keep them. I got hit by lightning and beaten by a ranger. What a day. It's Raikou again, and it sounds really angry. Well, you are the ones who made it angry! You smiley pants with four eyes. We'll be back. <laughs> Your ZZ flyer is still working, sort of. Still, that wasn't just lightning. I also heard a sound like something exploded. Yeah, something's not going well somewhere. <laughs> Wait, I've already caught a weasel. Oh well, guess I'm catching another one. Thank you. 
by Teddy Ursa. <laughs> I think you've been on my team the whole t this whole game so far, but not anymore, unfortunately. Um. Okay. Why am I destroying this rock? <laughs> Is there like another Pokemon inside? Oh, hello, Shellos. Yeah, I figured there wouldn't just be a random rock to break for nothing. Especially when you have to get rid of your Pokemon to break it. I remember seeing an A-palm around here. There you are. Don't have any Rock Smash Pokemon left. <laughs> Bye, Meryl. Another Weasel. I've already got one, though. Okay, nothing else. Uh-oh. Oh no! My house is on fire! That explosion was my house! I often cause little fires when my experiments fail, but I can't believe it happened when I wasn't home. I feel a little better because mom and papa are out, but... <laughs> hey Ranger! This is the last of my free requests! Help me put out that fire! At this rate, it's gonna burn my whole house down! There should be some Pokémon nearby that can put out fires! Well, I did just catch a few water types, didn't I? Don't shell us. There we go. Problem resolved. Oh dear, hello. The fire is too strong! It won't go out! Apparently one Pokemon alone cannot put out this fire. You should get the help of several Pokemon. Commencing team target. Like, yeah, I didn't already know this. Use multiple Pokemon. Yeah, blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, it's playing itself. <laughs> okay, I need three, two water Pokemon. Yeah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. <laughs> This is so itchy. I'm sorry if my VTuber is just going crazy for me itching my nose. Let it play, don't I? Don't spam the button. Okay, can we get back now, please? Thank you. don't do anything, my whole house will burn down. I'll watch to make sure the fire doesn't spread any further. Go get some Pokemon! 
Yeah, I need two more. Like, two times water Pokemon. Hopefully you have enough water power to the dial. No, not enough. <laughs> Well, Shellos was enough, and I'm pretty sure there was another Buizel down here. Yes, join please. Okay, we don't need Totodal right now. <laughs> And we want this weasel. There we go. Level nine. Bye, Stantler. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. <laughs> I didn't go for long. I only went to, like, go to the bathroom and have a walk around my home to stretch my legs. <laughs> okay, is that going to put out the fire and not give us a massive fire to put out? what it was loud oh sorry you muted the tab for a second because the loud clip came up oh sorry <laughs> maybe I should remove the loud clip to be honest the fire's completely out it's okay now thank you so much range um Molly you're welcome. By the way, would another free request be okay? No, this is my first one. I'd like you to carry the ZZ Flyer to my room. I'm basically just your slave, aren't I? <laughs> it's fine, it just scared the shit out of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I should probably remove the loud clip from the highlights, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh my god, this music. The fire really made a mess of my room, so just put the ZZ flyer there! Thank you very much! I'll investigate the ZZ flyer, and if I find anything, I'll tell you right away! That room is my research lab. I might not look it, but I'm a scientist. I'm really glad you were with me. There's no way I could have put out a big fire like that myself. Well, I'll introduce myself once again. I told you before, but my name is Nima. I'm currently developing a new weapon to take out bad guys. Wow. Most of my work got burned up in that fire, but it's okay. I can work on it again. Well, you're very optimistic, aren't you? Voice. I've been curious about... My Amazon Echo just went off. <laughs> Sorry. Your styler is different than Papa's. It talks. It doesn't seem to be working very well, though. I'll 
have a look at the insides, so let me borrow it for a second. This is the second of my free requests. What? Don't look so worried. It's me, Nima. <laughs> It'll be fine. Wow, this is amazing. I've never seen circuitry like this. Ooh, looks like seawater got in through this gap. With a little blast of air and a little bit of grease. And finally in this area here. Okay, it's fixed. Try setting it on your arm. Beep, beep, beep. Confirmed rebooting of the Styler Modification Module. Commencing Styler Modification Tutorial. First, touch the button to the right, which is this way, of the energy gauge. This opens the Styler menu. Touch the menu item called Modification. You can use your ranger points to customize your styler. Touch the blue arrow when its level will go up. Touch the red arrow when its level will go down. Touch the level up button to confirm your modification. Careful, spent points cannot be recovered. That's it for now on the modi Styler modification. Check the glossary menu under the Styler menu for more details. You gotta go cook now, I have fun. <laughs> thanks, Stein. Hope your cooking goes well. <laughs> and thanks for the wish of fun. <laughs> Styler modification looks pretty helpful. And I hope your cooking goes well, by the way. Still, Papa's pretty late. We might as well go meet him. He's probably somewhere around the wireless tower on Mount Latolato. I'll be your guide to Mount Latolato. Come along, Pichu. Don't go into my lap before I'm done cleaning it. Okay then. Anything up here? No. <laughs> Going north up through the forest to the west, which is left, of here will take us to the trail that climbs Mount Lato Lato. The wireless tower is at the peak of the mountain. Thank you. Wait, hang on. Oh, oops. <laughs> there we go. Alright, I'm gonna pick up this total dial. If I see any people with with quests, maybe I should go do those. The UFOs flew away towards Mount Lato Lato. Perhaps Mount Lato Lato is one of the musty places in a guidebook for aliens. <laughs> Hello, Ladiba. Another light of bar. 
I'll keep my slot open for something else though. Because there's probably going to be something else around here. Fluffy? Oh yeah, I can modify my silo now, I just remembered. for now. <laughs> this is the start of the trail that climbs Mount Lato Lato. Thank you. Hinder Cape this way. Ooh, Mudcap, hello. myself because <laughs> in Stein's um, red rescue team playthrough his like their partners are mudkip and they named after me so <laughs> I guess I technically just caught myself The wireless tower isn't this way. Okay, so I have to go that way up to Mount Lato Lato. <laughs> Hello, Bonsai. Oh. Get out of there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bonsai. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I just bumped the mic. <laughs> there we go. Don't need another bonsai. on there. From here on, no children are allowed to enter. What are you talking about? Mount Lato Lato's a safe place. It was up until a few days ago. Now all sorts of shady characters are running around there. Me, for example. You and your Ivysaur. There we go. Didn't even need the whole song. Who would have thought a couple of kids could be so tough? I'm starting to get worried about- Oh, wrong voice. I'm starting to get worried about Papa! Another one of these stones. Oh, hello, Tyro. Easy. <laughs> Sorry, Bonsai. <laughs> I'm not sure what that rock's about, but I don't have the right Pokemon for it right now. <laughs> Another one. Oh. It's an old slate. It depicts a Pokemon. Yeah, Tangrove. <laughs> I know that Pokemon.
The view from here is breathtaking, isn't it? Oblivious sea and sky. I love them both. It looks like someone else is coming. Another pincher? Yep. And <laughs> the Wobbuffet. Hello. You'll never get past this bridge. Save comments like that for after the battle. Bring it on. Wobbuffet's not supposed to attack. It's only supposed to like use like counter and mirror coat to attack. Wow, perfect! I'll let you cross the bridge this once, but after you cross, go home, okay? Nah. <laughs> we'll keep going, thank you very much. I wonder what they're planning to do on Mount Lato Lato! Electrike, hello! Okay, you're an electrifier, not a charger. <laughs> I see a shuckle down there. <laughs> you there! What are you trying to do to the wireless tower? No one here is dense enough to answer that just because they're asked. <laughs> Oh, the dialogue is incredible. If you don't want to get hurt, I recommend looking the other way. Papa! The Pokemon Rangers backup has arrived. We'll just have to take them out, out all at once then. Okay, assists are very effective when you must face me. Wait, wrong voice. Poke assists are very effective when you must face many Pokemon. Okay, Gligar, Apalm, and Skuntank. Really? By a pump. Goodbye, Scum Tank. Goodbye, Glygar. <laughs> going just fine until these intruders showed up. You're the intruders here. Papa! We have pretty great timing, huh? Nima! I've told you time and time again not to be so reckless. But I... I just thought I would guide the ranger who wanted to meet you here. I I see. I'm sorry I yelled. For now, why don't you both come inside and talk? If we stay here, they might come back. I'd like to introduce Molly, a Pokemon Ranger just like you, who helped me with 
two of my free requests. Oh, there's still one left. Anyway, I've got a lot of help. I just re I've done five requests for you, Nima. Don't forget the first free. Nima, were your free requests really just free selfish demands? They weren't selfish. Lightning hit our house and it was on fire. Molly put it out. Our house was on fire? That happened while I was out. Are the both of you okay? Molly, that hothead is my papa. Hothead? Anyway, I'm Rand, the ra area ranger for the Oblivion region. Thank you very much for putting out the fire. If you hadn't been there. This pretty lady is my mom. She might not look it, but she's an archaeologist. Oblivia is full of ruins, so my mom is very busy. I'm Leanne, nice to meet you. As Nima said, this Oblivia region has many fascinating ruins. I'm researching the relationship between the legends of Oblivia and the actual ruins. Simply put, I'm researching whether these legends are simply fabrications of the ancients or something else entirely. Also, Mom, that's too much info. Keep your introductions to a minimum. I, I guess that's so. By the way, the Ranger Union told me before that they were sending two Rangers here, but what happened to the other one? Would you please tell me what the situation is? So that's what happened. You must be very worried about your partner. But then again, your partner is a well-trained Pokemon Ranger. So I think your partner will be fine. But Rasp Caverns Monument and the Wireless Tower are worrisome. What are the Pokemon Pinchers planning? I think you may have already noticed, but our wireless tower, which is next to the shack, has been taken over by the Pokemon Pinchers. As a result, we haven't been able to communicate with the Ranger Union for several days. That's why, Molly, I want your help taking the wireless tower back from the Pinchers. Okay. Book heart. <coughs> Did you let a bug in? Not that I saw. I just snuck into the wireless tower. That there was electricity running everywhere. Then I got shocked, and it seems I'm carrying a charge. The backup rangers arrived. I just thought of something. Would you like me to charge your styler with my excess electricity? So stop it! Don't be so rash, Bookheart! Improper charging is a major warranty violation. Warranty violation? It's not a household appliance. Well, I'll let you be just this once. Uh, I just thought it would be a g good idea, though. I don't know what those pinchers are doing, but there are unshielded wires all over the wireless tower. Be very careful not to get shocked like Bookheart did. Liberate the wireless tower. We can do that. Don't you think your styler needs recharging? Ahem, your styler's fully charged. Okay, I bet the styler's happy with that. Papa, we have Molly with us. It's always good to have company, right? Oops. I don't know what I'll do without you. Why did they take over the wireless tower?
Let's wake up the shackle. <laughs> Gonna be crush. Yeah. Ooh, Magnemite. I have a feeling you're gonna be a charger as well. So close, one loop off. Since the pinches are here, the Pokemon are agitated. Agitated Pokemon will attack if you get too close to them. Even worse, performing a capture on an agitated Pokemon is very difficult. Commencing explanation. Yeah, I already know. They have like an additional thing, like health bar that you have to wear down. Yeah, and it makes the friendship thing way less. <laughs> So you give me an option for the other tutorials, but not these ones. It was probably Ran doing that. <laughs> Let's get going! There are no guardrails along the paths and floors of Wireless Tower. Be careful not to fall off. You mean like that? <laughs> Why didn't they install any? Like, that's incredibly dangerous. They have a barricade in a random spot like that. No, oh, that's the actual way I want to go. Yeah, I'll go for it, why not? was climbing up the base. What on earth is going on? It probably just came around to our way of thinking and has come to lend a hand. Yeah, of course. Someone's here. Oh great, now we have one more ranger to deal with. I'll go warn everyone above. That must be the brat we were warned about. You're not going to get one step higher than this. Enough with the peachy peachy and that already. It might be a peachy just like you, but it doesn't matter. Go get him. Yeah, this peachy probably comes from Dulce Island and has been completely brainwashed. He 
easy. <laughs> That was pathetic, Pichu. Where was that intensity I saw when I seized you on Dull Island? I couldn't feel it at all. Okay, now you now you remember. <laughs> so this is one of the Pichu you were telling me about. It must have been very frustrating to be controlled by that villain. You... I'm glad you were able to finally... I'm glad you were able to meet your friend again. Bye! Probably back to Dull Island now. <laughs> Already. I've got to hurry and warn everyone. Hey, you, wait. Ah! <laughs> yeah, avoid the electricity on the yellow parts of the path. I tried to warn him. Ah! <laughs> Hi, Wooks. How you doing today? Between that guy and Bookheart, there are way too many people who don't listen. Electricity only passes for a specific amount of time on the narrow pathways of the wireless tower. Yeah, so avoid them. <laughs> okay, can't do anything about that. He's unconscious, damn! <laughs> You're good to shiny hunting Beldum. Nice! How many- OW! How's that been going for you? There we go. Hi, Tyro. <laughs> My car, Magnemite. Nah, I got them both. Ooh, hello, kid. Hello. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> bye, Voltor. <laughs> I know I just caught you, but bye. <laughs> Might as well add you to the team. <laughs> Welcome back, Stein. <laughs> so your cat does not appreciate the noise the cooking is making. What's happening? <laughs> ah! Okay, Voltor it is. <laughs> I don't have Gligar anymore. <laughs> Is 
Is it like one of those like frying pans that makes like a lot of noise? <laughs> Rand's doing pretty well on the electrified pathway. Oh, hello, Porygon too. The meat be sizzling, yep. <laughs> what are you making? Shuckle. Okay, nothing I can do here. Yeah, I like it. Like being fine makes sense. Not so much for Ran though. Sausages, a specific bean thing you don't know the English name of, and potatoes. <laughs> well, what's it called in Dutch then? <laughs> and then I can look it up and see if I know a potential English word for it. Oh, hello, Shinks! Spursy bo Bonan. Never heard of that before. Uh, where's the cursor on my mouse gone? There it is. Search Google. Oh, green beans. That's what those are. Yeah, they're just called green beans in English. <laughs> Yeah, definitely add Shinx to the team, please. Ooh. Yeah, I want to keep all the Shinx, to be honest now. <laughs> You understand why you couldn't translate that with only your brain, right? Well, if you don't know the name in English at all, then how are you supposed to be able to know? <laughs> Sorry, does that even make any sense what I just said? Welcome, Rangers, but this is as far as you will go. Just do an about face and get out of here. If you won't go back, we'll make you want to leave. Laron, Aaron, send him home crying. If it was called Grony Bonan, <laughs> you could have translated it. Is that just green bean, like translated literally into Dutch? Okay, now I understand. So... So Bonan is Bean in Dutch. Does... 
Spursy not have like an English version, like word? I'm guessing not. <laughs> Not that you know of. Okay. <laughs> oh man, how can I face the leader after this? Hello, Shinx. I'll, def I'll definitely take another Shinx. There we go. Now I've got a spare. <laughs> nice. The wind's strong here. Be careful. If you lose your footing, we'll have to start over from here. Whee! <laughs> okay, Magnemite. Ah! Ooh! Okay. Oh, the wind stopped. Forgot about the electricity and the wind came back. He technically just fucked up. The beans weren't supposed to cook, but they did for a little bit. Oops. Wait, if they're not supposed to cook, then what are you doing with them? God no. Also, I want to go down first. Nah. Please don't hit me, Gligar. Fuck! <laughs> oh, you're just trying to warm them. Okay, that makes more sense. Of course everyone else is fine. All my Pokemon and Rand are fine, but I'm not. Shit. Run, 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 run. <gasps> no. Okay. <laughs> You're just following the instructions on the packet. Yeah. It's not your fault, it's the packet's fault then. Or packages' fault. <laughs> it's like Aaron evolved into a Laron. <laughs> My god, this place just goes on and on. <laughs> Both the rangers and Riker are right behind us. We have to hurry and give this to someone. Probably leader, I'm guessing. Ooh, Hitmonchan, hello. Why exactly is there a Hitmonchan up here? I mean... I guess Aaron and Laron don't exactly fit to be up here either, but Hitmonchan even less so. Bye, Apom. Stranger, there's no wind up here. Ooh, God. Okay, nothing around there. Where you gone to? And hit one chan. Don't really understand how Porygon 2 is helping here, but 
Whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. Alright, let's stock up my team. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Okay, my styler is fully charged. I, I said my styler is fully charged, thank you. Right. By the way, when I finish this mission, I think I'm gonna call it for today. Raiko's fury is too great. We may have to capture it. It didn't charge? <laughs> no, I didn't charge it because it didn't need charging. Raiko is an electric or electric group Pokemon, so ground or ground poke assists are very effective. Molly, are you ready? Yeah, <laughs> I'm ready. If you feel like you are in danger, don't be reckless. Run. All right, let's go. We mess with the frequency and cut off the power. But to be safe, we should probably take out the antenna too. That way, they won't be able to communicate with anyone for a while. Leader! You're late. Did you get that emblem? Yes, here it is. You've decided that beans only taste good in like singles. <laughs> Personally, I don't like beans at all. <laughs> good work. Thank you, leader. But we do have two small problems. Actually, they're nothing that major. One is that the Pokemon Rangers have made it up here. The other is that Raikou is standing right there. How are these not major concerns? What have you numbskulls done? They brought Raikou right to us. It was nice of Raiko to break the antenna, but at this rate, it might be best to go. You must be the leader of the Pinchers! What have you been doing here? You're one step behind, Pokemon Ranger. Raiko broke your precious antenna. So you're controlling Raiko, huh? Oh, please. I'm no ranger. Actually, even a ranger might have trouble controlling a legendary Pokemon. At any rate, we, we destroyed the Rylas Tower, so our work here is done. There's no reason for me to hang around, so ta-ta! Wait! Tell us why you destroyed the Wireless Tower! I hate electromagnetic waves. Is that a good enough reason for you? <laughs> that is a good, good response right there. Though if I were you though, I'd be a little more concerned about the roaring Raikou right next to me. Thanks for cleaning up, Pokemon Rangers. I hate to let her get away, but we have to calm Raikou down first. Pichu, get away! It's too dangerous! Shh. 
She's a Karen that thinks 5G makes people gay. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> the Pokemon Pinchers are just a homophobic group in the Pokemon world. Molly, as you can see, Raikou is a very formidable po Pokemon. Use Poke Assists as much as possible. If you feel like you are in danger, don't be reckless. Run. Alright, let's go. Isn't that exactly what you said before? Alright, bring it on, Raikou. <laughs> That's a lot of electricity. Yes, Pichu, I could really use your help. Wow, that's really helpful. Oh. Yes, Pichu, thank you. You gonna get rid of your electricity, like, coat? Yes, thank you. Try to defeat people by pinching them. Yeah, that helps them stop being gay, right? <laughs> Obviously. Emulator? No, it's a capture card for a DS. Well, 2DS to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's a modified 2DS to be a capture card. Pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. <laughs> Pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. <laughs> Someone's found the text to speech redeem. <laughs> the strange figure has been observed. Please register the figure in the styler. Like that? Raiko sign has been registered. <laughs> you works, obviously. <laughs> Bye, Raiko. What was that bright light just now? Molly, what's wrong? You're staring off into space. Is it time already for you to ruin my day? Wait, what? Who said that? <laughs> Did you see something in that light? What? You saw something that looked like a floating figure appear? Hmm, I didn't see anything. Are you sure it wasn't an optical illusion? Ta-da! Yeah, didn't know I lived with the text-to-speech guy. Yep, I do. <laughs> and now you know. And apparently he's talking about pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. 
At any rate, we successfully calmed down Raiko. And we managed to liberate the wireless tower, which is our original goal. We were able to do it because of you. Ha ha ha. It's been many years since I've been able to say this. Mission clear. Sounds much better when you have the twang to it. I don't know any pink fluffy unicorns, no. Who are they? I'll have someone look at the extent of the damage later. Let's go back first so nobody worries about us. Good work, you two! We could see them fleeing from here! There was a bright light from the top, though! What happened? For some reason, Raiko appeared. It was very agitated, but when Molly calmed it down with a capture, the area was surrounded in a bright light. Molly says there was something like a figure in the sky. After the capture, you saw a figure in the sky? That is very, very interesting! This is, this is, this is good work around. Book Heart, what's, what, what's the deal with those pinchers? I, I got them to do while they were the, the slowest trying to escape. I, I was just making an inquiry about the details of their story. Well now, sh shall we c continue pinchers? What did you want to accomplish by dis destroying the wireless tower? We told you a million times already! We really don't know anything! Getting a little uh, overconfident because I'm asking nicely, are we? I guess you want another little shock like, like before, right? Huh? Th no, anything but that! I swear, honest! We were only following our leader's orders! You two are really irritating. Who is your leader? What are you planning? Hey, look! A flying pizza! What? D -d Does it have onions? <laughs> now, run! Oh my god. <laughs> I hope it does. I like onions. Wow. You really fell for that. <laughs> hey, wait. Get back here. Like pizza could fly. You tricked me. I'll chase you to the end of the world. You're gonna have to DM me the song in a minute. <laughs> sure, if you want to. <laughs> Book heart, wait. Leave them to the rangers. Leanne and Nima, go on ahead. Molly and I are going to chase after the pinchers. Be careful, you two! Molly, take care of Papa, okay? Molly, let's go after those two. I would, but I think I'm gonna call it for today. <laughs> I can tell my voice really wants a rest. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a lot of fun playing um, Guardian Signs for the first time in years and reliving the funniness of it I'd forgotten all about.